channel and today I'm going to be doing is testing out new makeup for you guys but first of all I'm going to do my eye base and I'm going to be using my Soph palette. All I'm going to do is a simple eye look. I'm just going to do lilac all over the eye and that's it and wing it out because I haven't used the lockdown shade as much and I want to because you know it was crazy and crazy with all the lockdown stuff and everything so I'm going to put some P. Louise base. I always do one eye at a time. What I'm going to do is zoom you closer though so you can actually see. So, I'm just going to pop this. Because I'm not trying anything new in my eye, I'm using this my side palette. So here we go. And I did a giveaway on my channel I did. And I, I picked the giveaway winner last night. They are very happy to be. They're like, oh my god, seriously. I was like, I'm not going to message you. Like, I'm like, oh my god, seriously. I can't believe I've won something. I've never won anything before. I have, but um, I'm so happy for that person because he's been... A lot of scrub of mine for years and I did it and there was like 27 comments on my videos it may seem not a lot but it's a lot to me and basically what had happened is I put it all in them I put 1 to 27 in the number generator and then basically put it down and his number was called what's the new brushes which I'm very excited for and these are the Smith these are the Smith brushes these are it right here and basically I'm so excited to use this so this is the Smith 232 I love it it's I think they're called quill brushes it's going to use the shade lockdown lockdown this is a lilac shade I actually love it I just want to put lilac all over my eyes do you know that just okay this brush is very soft I'm just going to put it onto my thing lilac shade I'm glad I put a base down because if I didn't put a base down that wouldn't show up as much I'm glad I did this is so pretty. That lilac shade is really nice. I like this lilac shade. Oh, this is really pretty. Yeah, I'm testing some new makeup. This is not me bragging about me getting new makeup. It's me just wanted to test some makeup out for you guys. I'm gonna bring this really blown out as well. I'm gonna wing it out as well. This brush blends that product beautifully. It lays the product on really nicely and it blends out so beautifully. I've sorted out my office a bit. Um, I've got some drawers. And if you want me to do an office tour, I will. My office is kind of small, so please bear that in mind. But yeah, I've sorted out my office, which is really nice. Sorted everything out. But um, yeah, I'm just, yeah, my office is kind of small because I shared it with my husband. We make it work, we make it work. This lockdown shade, you need a kind of like, you you can't, I can't use that base because it's kind of very pastel -y. So I think I need to buy another eye primer, like another eye base. Uh, probably get it from Evolution because I hear Evolution, their eye bases are really good. And get it in fair. So I'm just going to put a brown eyeliner on. This is not new. I've used the brown eyeliner before. And let me tell you, I do like a brown eyeliner. I'm a bit picky. Sometimes I go with black, but I know black during the day is a bit harsh, and I don't want a harsh one. So this is the roller. This is the roller liner by Benefit, and it just has a felt tip point on it. Oh my zoom's getting better as I'm so close. So I'm just going to do a wing. Okay. Wings are not my favourite today, but I'll do them. Today's an exciting day. I think I've got a parcel coming today. Wow, that wing is... That wing's nice. Yeah, these are, did not match at all. I'm going to try mascara now. I'm going to curl my lashes and try mascara. This mascara that I've got on my hands, mascara I got from Cobb Beauty, and it's called Swede, and it's the Pro Lash Lift Mascara. Now, this has some claims, I'm telling you. It had, like, stuff like, it's going to, like, lift and lift and you know thingy to your lashes and it's like based i think it's on there like on this sheet like based on the number one winning or award winning mascara and it had some claims i'm like what the hell are you serious like so let's test it out i'll show you the packaging and show you the one because the ones is it's kind of crazy so this is the packaging just light blue this says swede if anyone's tried this please let me know down below and this is the wand i mean it's on one side I've never tried a formula like that. Oh god, I don't think it has a lot of product on there because it's just a little plastic one. So I'm just gonna see how this goes. Well, there's a lot of product on there. Take some of the product off. It gives too much product on there. There's so much product on this mascara. What I do like, it is gripping the lashes. It's gripping every single lash. Okay, my lashes has lengthened. Can you see them? My lashes don't normally go that long. They say this is not waterproof, but it's water resistant. Now I'm going to try the other eye. Right. Would I say it's the best thing ever? No, but it has actually gotten length to my lashes, which my lashes, if you know, they're kind of short. And what I'm going to do is go with Karen put on some lashes. So these lashes I've already tested. These are Dubai by So So You Get Me in Primark. 
thing I'm going to be curious about is the new duo glue that I got. It is the brush on adhesive with vitamins. I think it's late, it's free. But this is it. I'm going to go away, put this on, and then come back with lashes. But I'm back and I have tried the lash glue. I really like this green lash glue. It is really good. It basically is so nice. I think it's latex free. It is with vitamins and it really sticks on the lashes. So the, these are the lashes I've got on that they're so suit in Dubai. I love these. These are nice. These are so easy to stick on as well. You cut them, you stick them on, and you're done. The I've got is just this in a mask one, I got it from Glossy Box in a box. I'm gonna put this on first, and then I'm gonna put something else on. So, ooh, it's so cold. It is really cold. I need a mirror. Oh, this cold. Oh, what's cold? Oh, I don't want to use a beauty one, but I thought, oh, I use one to do. Oh, that's really tacky as well. Oh, I like this. This feels really tacky. This feels so. Can you see that? It feels really tacky. If you can hear her clicking in the background, that's my husband. Just that you know, he's in here as well. I told you, we share an office. I really like. I do have some screen protector. It's a glow screen makeup primer. So I'm gonna use this as well. Let's use. Let's try. Let's use this. Let's see what this is like. This is the glow screen super glue primer. It's BF13. Got it from Rachel. So I thought to myself, yeah, I'll try this out. If she uses it, why not? You know, no, this is not dirty. I'm gonna use blend in with this brush. This is a primer as well, but this is a glowy primer, so my face is going to be glowy today. Look how glowy my skin has looked after that. Gives you a nice glowy base. It's got SPF in it, but it gives you a nice glowy base. So the next thing I'm going to use is something that I got new, and it is two things. I got in two shades. So I was going to put a Tinted Moisturizer on today. I'm not going today, but today I got two foundations. First of all, I'm going to try the Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade 4.5. In the shade 4.5, I'm going to use this first. And then I'm going to go in with the NARS foundation. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This one is in the colour Stromboli. Got the colour... I'm going to go with the colour Barcelona today, just because I'm freshly faked out. So what I'm going to do is uh, use a new brush as well. This is the Smith 115. And it's very, very small. It's a foundation brush, but it's very small. Well, oh, this filter first to my high points. Ooh, that's actually really nice. I'm very glowing. Uh, natural Radiant Foundation in Barcelona. Give this a shake. I picked some of that on a brush. I'm just going to dot it all over first. And then I'm going to blend it in. Ooh. Wow, this brush is really nice. I actually like this brush. Oh yeah, this is a good colour. It's a good colour. Wow, this brush blends it out, but this foundation. Wow, I am a bit glowy, but wow. This foundation, man. This foundation is very nice. I actually like it. It looks really nice. I like the shade Barcelona. So I'm going to test that new concealer. And the concealer I got as well is a nice concealer. And it's in the shade Ginger. And it's a radiant creamy concealer. I'm just going to try this, but I'm going to use my brush. I'm still using a different thing. I'm gonna use my brush. I'm just gonna put it right here. Oh, and right here. And the same again. Okay. Need to dip back in it. Need to dip back in. Okay, this I don't like this applicator, it's too small. The applicator on this is so small. That's a small applicator. It's like a lipstick applicator. That is so small. So now if you're watching, you need to update your packaging on your concealer because it's really small. <laughs> my face is looking really good, but this concealer is really nice. Just gonna add a little more concealer in the in the corners because I'm a bit dark in there. This concealer is looking really nice and I now know why know people rave about this. Got a feeling this will crease. Look at my face guys. My face is looking really nice. I'm loving how my face looks. Next I'm going to use powder and the powder I'm going to use to set my face is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade medium. I got this because I know everyone's raving about it but I want to see if it's actually nice myself. I need to blend out some more on my concealer. I need to set this concealer because I feel like it's going to crease but I do like it. And then we just take a little powder. Set my under eye. Can you tell a difference? This side's really like powdered like lightly powdered uh -huh. this uh, this does really oh god i don't want to like this i really don't want to like this i think i like it i didn't want to like this hey charlotte if you're watching you're never going to watch this but can we do can we do a resealable packaging on this thing as well i really like this Okay, so now I'm going to use a bronzer. I'm hoping, I don't know why this, because it does cause a lot of money, but I'm probably going to like it. It's another Charlotte Tilbury product, and it's the Airbrush Bronzer in the shade 3. And this is it. I got recommend to buy this from Jim Louise. Um, got the 118 brush, so I got these because Jim Louise, because she uses these for blush and bronzer. So I'm going to try it for bronzer. And I love the mirror. The mirror is huge. Pick up a, I'm just going to pick up a little bit. I really like this. 
everything that I like it didn't want to like because it's it's expensive. Charlotte Tilt, I think that's about 30 quid for a bronzer. I need a blush now. I'm gonna go with my old and true blush California. I really like it. I'm gonna pick up another one of them brushes that I was using. I really like the bronzer. Ooh, I like this brush so for oh this blush brush is so nice. Brush I love. Holy crap, I like this brush of blonde for bronzer and blush, it looks so pretty. The thing I forgot to do is my shimmery bronzer. I love a shimmery bronzer, I love it. This is the Rachel Lerry shimmery bronzer, and you can't go wrong with a shimmery bronzer. It just gets your look complete. What lip should I do? I've done a really like, nice thingy lippy. This new sticks one, which is in the shade Bam Mama. And I've got this one, which is in the shade Good Times. I'm gonna go Good Times, because I tried this on, and I absolutely love it. It is a lovely color. It's so beautiful. And it's just a lip crown. This is in the shade Good Times. I absolutely love the colour. Oh, I'm going to put on a gloss. I fancy putting on a gloss. And it is the Rachel Lowe gloss. I love this gloss as well. This gloss is so nice. It's so beautiful and it gives you that shimmer. And I think it'd be going well with this colour. So I'm just going to, what I do is I just drag some of the product off. Because there's a lot of product that comes off the lip. Rachel Lowe's gloss is so beautiful. Now I'm going to do a setting spray. And it's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Part of night stay all day. And it's no melting, no fading, no grease, and hold six to eight inches away and mist over the entire face before and after applying makeup. Oh, you can use this before makeup, didn't know that. I did another, so let's go. Wow, I love it when I mix. Whoa. Oh, damn it. I really like my makeup today. This is my complete look. Hopefully, you do try this video. Please give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.